Hey guys, this is Bobet, and today I'm going to be showing you some apps that I found to work on Android Wear. Now, this is running Android Wear 1.5 uh, Marshmallow, so um, I'm assuming that all these apps will work on Android Wear 2.0 as well. So, I'm just going to go down this list, so there's not going to be in any particular order. So first, I'm going to be going over uh, ES File Explorer, and um, this thing works pretty well. Um, it can play videos, music, and it can even browse the web because it does have a built-in web browser. Now, it is pretty bad, so I wouldn't recommend using it, but, I mean, it's there. So, despite everything being pretty clumped together, it is usable. So, let's see. We have some sample pictures here. Um, click here. And there you go. A picture of my dog can kind of zoom in. However, sometimes the gestures kind of, like get in the way as you can see you can kind of uh, go this way but eh. so as you can see you can zoom in uh, everything works pretty well let's see so there you go um, you can also listen to music so let's go ahead and show you that hopefully um, YouTube does not copyright this let's do this so there you go uh, my speaker is pretty tinny for some reason. So ES File Explorer works pretty well. Um, I've not I have not run into any major problems. Um, one thing that doesn't work is the um, file cleaner. I guess you oh, didn't mean to close it. Just try that again. Um, it's that file cleaner. It's uh, it's right here, I believe. Yeah, right here. If you click clean now. It shows you how much space it could free, but um, you can't scroll down to clean it. So that was the only problem I encountered using ES File Explorer. Everything else works. Um, oops. It can get slow at times, but it's pretty usable. I mean, you're not going to be uh, needing a File Explorer on your watch, but you know, it's there. So the next step I'm going to be going over is Chrome, and web apps are a little tricky because Wi-Fi is a little iffy. You have to have the um, what, settings app in the background in order for it to stay connected. So, oh, and it's kind of freaking out because currently plugged into my laptop, which um, doesn't supply enough power, I guess. So when it doesn't have enough power, it starts flickering, I've noticed. Um, the stock uh, fast charger does not do that. Um, so we're gonna go do Chrome. It shouldn't. It takes a little while, but small websites are fine. So like loading Google shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, pretty soon we should be seeing Google Keyboard pop up, which is another app I got working. Only thing that doesn't work in the app is the settings. Um, you can't get into setting it forced closes, but the keyboard itself works. Um, you're just going to be stuck with the default settings, which is fine. Alright, and it just loaded in. We're at the um, Google Chrome homepage. We're not on the website right now. Um, give it a little while longer to load in. Also, it doesn't help that I installed all these apps for the video, and there's no uh, free space. I think we have 100 megabytes free, so that's also a problem. Oh, and there's also a Google Doodle, so it has to download, so... And apparently it's the first time I've actually opened it, so all these factors are uh, kind of uh, adding to the slow performance. Let's see. No, I don't want to sign to Chrome. All right, and there we go. Let's see. Is it working now? Yep. Okay. So let's just go to uh, Google, and we'll go from there. I've actually gotten YouTube videos to play on that, which is pretty cool. And we're going to some website. Okay. Apparently there's a news section that I clicked on. Whoops. Come on, Google keyboard. All right, well, never mind. I guess we're not going to Google. We'll click this news article instead. Um, it hasn't fully loaded in, but as you can see, it's working. Let's see. Come on. There we go. All right. I 
almost got everything right in the first try. <laughs> well, I had to give it about like two minutes to load, um, but as you can see, it actually has loaded. Normally it isn't that slow, I think it was just that website it was trying to load, which is the problem. So let's try the Google Doodle, see what happens, if it even does anything at all. Well, it loaded, and as you can see, it's working pretty hard to getting like this uh, line floating across the screen. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what you're supposed to do here, but um, I think this is as far as we'll get. Uh, it's trying. I think it's, yeah, <laughs> it's doing its hardest. Um, let's see, let's get out of here, and I'm going to go ahead and try to load one of my YouTube videos. I'm just gonna cut the video because it's gonna take a while. So I wasn't able to get this video to play. It's just the uh, video I have uh, featured on my channel. And I've played this video before, but I'm just gonna blame my internet connection. I don't know what uh, resolution the video plays at on the mobile website with Chrome. I think it's 480p and it's probably just because I'm too far away from the router. But the next app I'm going to be showing you is Reddit. And there you go. As you can see, uh, it's working. However, the internet connection isn't great again. So, pictures probably aren't going to download. So, let's, um, it's good to ask Reddit. So, it says they're mostly text posts. So, it should be easier to download. All right, well, just loaded. Um, as you can see, we are on Ask Reddit, and the text posts are working just fine. So let's go open this up. Let the comments load. May take a little while. All right, as you can see, uh, it's work. It loaded. You can upvote posts, download posts. I think. Nope, never mind. You can't download posts. You can only upvote posts. Um, you can reply, although, you know, I'm not sure why you'd want to reply uh, on your watch, but, you know, the option is there if you want to. So, we're just going to go head over to the next app, which is Crossy Roads. Um, actually, probably should close Reddit first, just to aid with uh, perform the performance a little bit. And Crossroad does take a little while to load. Alright, and as you can see, it's loaded up. Uh, it's being a little slower than usual, however, I mean, once it's loaded, performance is okay. I'm assuming it's because um, I didn't actually clear Reddit or Chrome from the RAM. So they, uh, part of it still might be running in the background, which might be doing it. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and close those and try it again. Because, uh, as you can see, it's not working right now. Oh, and just to prove me wrong, it does. Okay. Let's see. Let's try it again. Let's see what, how high we can go. <laughs> it's got 67 just uh, going straight. You, get, you can't turn that well because that happens. Uh, you can go this way just fine. Nope, or not. That that works too. But as you can see, it works fairly well. Um, I mean, it's not like 60 FPS or anything, but it's pretty smooth. So originally I was going to do Clash Rail next. However, the uh, app I have installed is outdated. So instead I'm going to be doing Line, which is a pretty simple game. Uh, most of the more simple games and older apps work just fine on Android Wear. Yeah, as you can see, things are all stretched out. Uh, I'll show you what it's supposed to look like um, on a phone real quick. Let's go pop this up. Uh, line. This is more of what it's supposed to look like. So, as you can see, uh, it's a little, a little squished together, but um, it is playable attempt at this game, it's kind of hard. My high score is only like 30, so um, there you go. 
a pretty simple game. I mean, it does pass the times, so you know, there you go. Um, the next side loaded app I have is uh, GLTron. Um, there is a non ported version, of, well, it's ported, but it's for Android Wear, so it doesn't like rotate like this. Um, and the settings work. It's the settings that's not working here. And sound works in here, too. So you, can, you might be able to hear. Uh, and. Let's see. It works just fine. Um, uh, there are no problems with this. Um, it does drain the battery really quickly as well, so uh, look out for that too. So the next app we're going to be looking at is uh, not Hill Climb Racing because it worked before, however now it just force closes. How interesting. Um, another app is Device Info, which is pretty simple, um, so kind of expected it to work. It basically just tells you uh, your device info, I mean there's nothing too special. Um, I did actually use this to figure out the DPI, to change the DPI, um, and as you can see, this is Android 6.0, um, and just, you know, basic information, that you, but that's pretty useful, and for some reason, you cannot slide to close that app, um, this app was never intended for Android Wear, but for some reason, that was disabled, so, not sure how that works, but, yeah, um, uh, as you can see, we have Google Keyboard, however, um, that doesn't actually open. I'll show you real quick. It, it, that's literally all it does. And it just pops you in the last app you're in. Um, and I think I have one or two more apps to show you. Oh, here it is. It's Square It. I see. Alright, I had some difficulty getting Square It to open. Um, it just sat at the um, uh, home screen or the watch face like that. Just it just sat there the whole time, so I had to close it a couple times. However, uh, I stopped recording, decided to skip it, and uh, lo and behold, it worked. So uh, only problem is, as I already mentioned before, besides the really small buttons, um, is that you it, you tend to close the app. Oh. Like when you try to swipe this way, um, there is actually a way to get around that. So you go like instead of going like this, you go sideways in this way, and then you can complete the puzzle that way. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the puzzles require you to go like that, so it's a little inconvenient. But I mean, if you're okay with that, it is possible to uh, do most of them. Uh, Sometimes the puzzles are so big it's really hard to see where things are, which is the only other problem, but um, I think this is a pretty simple and fun uh, game to pass time, and hopefully the developer ports it to Android Wear. Um, the other app that they've made is um, Inf Infinite Loop, which they ported to Android Wear, or ported, uh, made for Android Wear, so um, maybe in the near future they will work on that, but... Uh, I see no reason they wouldn't, I mean, just a, there's a couple of small modifications you have to do and then it should work. Alright, so the last app that I uh, successfully sideloaded was Zoetrip, which works most of the time, however sometimes it does force close, but uh, as you can see it is playable, however this happens don't know why, um, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, uh, I think it might be an issue with, uh, it not having Google Play services, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, sorry if it was a little thrown together, uh, we're originally going to be doing a, uh, uh, camera test on the Galaxy S6, however, uh, Windows Movie Maker cannot do 4K video at the highest resolution it can do is 1080p. So I'm going to have to find a, a different video editing application. So I um, figured that this would be an okay um, filler video as I tried to figure that out. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, leave a like if you liked the video and a comment if you have any questions. Um, installing the apps is pretty simple, but if you guys would like to know how I did it, I can make a video on that too. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video once again, and I'll see you next weekend.